Welcome to the 2023 Brookhaven Summer Olympic Games. All week we've seen our amazing competitors in events like the Eagle View Shopping Cart Drop, Demolition Derby, Running, Swimming, Basketball, and Equestrian. The winner in each event receives a gold medal, second place silver, third place bronze, and everyone else an honorable mention. Here's the current medal count. Today's event is Fountain Darts. 21 competitors have been divided into three groups of seven. Each person will start at the drone launch and go straight over the spawn fountain. They will immediately drop and land as close to the top of the fountain as they can. If they land on the very top, it's five points. In the water is four points. On the side is three points. On the glass around the fountain is two points. Anywhere outside the glass at spawn is one point. And anything beyond spawn is out of bounds and gets no points. Scores from everyone in the group will be added together. The group with the most cumulative points will win the gold. Second place will get silver and third place will take home the bronze. It's time to begin. Group one is launching now. In Group 1, we have Brian, Eden, Grace, Jake, John, Mark, and O1S. And here they come on their drones flying toward the landmark fountain at spawn. They were instructed to fly straight to the fountain and jump immediately, which makes this a big challenge. It's a high drop onto a small target. Getting the five points will be tough indeed. Eden dropped. Mark is dropping now. Here comes another one. All competitors will stay where they land when they drop until the entire round is over. Incoming human dart aiming for the target. And another one dropping behind me as I quickly remind them of the rules. And here comes Grace, our basketball silver medalist. Looks like her aim here is equally as good. And it looks like John is inbound as we check on our scores so far. Everybody's looking good. John made his landing and Brian is coming in the final member of group one. He's not dropping immediately. That could just be a glitch on his device. He seems to be trying to disengage from the drone and he's down. Let's add up the score for group one. Inside the fountain, we have John, Jake, Grace, and O1S. On the glass, we have Eden and Mark, and Brian is on the outer ring of spawn. So with our handy scoring overlay, we can see we have one point for Brian, two points for Mark, two points for Eden, no one in the three-point zone. Four points for O1S, four points for Grace, four points for Jake, and four points for John. No points in the five zone. All together, group one made an amazing 21 points. Group two is up next with Annabelle, Chandler, Charlie, Hoptastic, Hoptastic 2, Ruby, and Taylor as our human darts. Charlie's kicking it off for group two, heading out in hopes of getting the bullseye that is the top of the fountain. Not an easy task. And Charlie's coming down, well short of the target. He stoically stands on the roof of the police station. Chandler is zooming in next, wearing his yellow play all day shirt for good luck. Let's see how he approaches this challenge. He's got the fountain in his sights. And he nailed it. Bullseye for Chandler, thanks to that lucky shirt. 
It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Officer Ruby looking to add to the score for group two. She's coming in strategically finding the best place to jump. Looks like she landed somewhere in the scoring zone, just where, we'll see later. Poptastic 2 launching next. She's been quite successful in these Olympic Games. How will she do in this competition? Here she is in position, lining up over the fountain and dropping somewhere south of spawn. And here comes Taylor making her Brookhaven Olympics debut here today in the fountain darts event. She'll do her best to score some points for her group. She's moving in like a pro, going straight to where she needs to be. And that's a four-point fountain landing for Taylor. Annabelle has entered the airspace with one goal in mind, and that's helping group two go for the gold. She'll do her best to time her jump perfectly. It's harder than it looks, folks. But it looks like Annabelle is in the scoring zone. Hoptastic's on the way, closing it out for group two. She's going to be going for as many points as possible, obviously. She is very competitive, so she will definitely be giving it her all here today. Dropping now and in the scoring zone. How many points? Let's go see. Everyone is still in place right where they landed. We've got Annabelle, Hoptastic, Chandler, and Taylor right on and around the fountain. Ruby's further back, right on the edge of the glass. Hoptastic 2 and Charlie are just barely out of the scoring zone. Now, let's take a look at some questionable positioning. Hoptastic initially appeared to be on the rim of the fountain, but looking closely, you can see she is in fact in the water. And Ruby appears to be right on the line between the one point and two point zones. But zooming in, we can see her feet are entirely in the one point zone. Consulting the scoring overlay, we've got Hoptastic 2 and Charlie in the no point zone. Ruby's in the one point zone. Annabelle's in the two point zone. No one in the three point zone. Taylor and Hoptastic are in the four point zone. And Chandler, a bullseye in the five point zone. All together, that's gonna be 16 points for group two. Now, let's see how group three fares. Now group three is up, hoping for a better score than groups one and two. Group three is Brooklyn, Bob, David, Edith, Flip, Gordon, and Lenny. First in flight for group three is Gordon S. Hornbuckle, frontman for Brookhaven Band, Wallow. Where did he go? He seems to be way off track. Where is he going? And he's dropping far west of spawn, landing in the cemetery. I guess we really shouldn't be surprised. I do hope our next competitor has a better aim. Coming into view now is David Brookstead, host of My Lottery Dream Home Brookhaven. He's headed toward the fountain. And oh, so close. Coming in for a landing on the downtown subway. Iconic Brookhaven elder Edith Frankel is next. Ms. Frankel turns 90 years old this year. Winning the gold would undoubtedly be a wonderful birthday present. She is setting up as she approaches spawn and... Oh, just a bit too early. 
down right by the community pool. Lenny Spikehead of the Brookhaven Band Random Flu Shot is our next flyer. Lenny is known for his bad temper and has threatened to choke everyone with their own medals if he doesn't win the gold. Uh-oh. Oh no. Watch your throats, folks. Lenny has overshot spawn by a quarter mile. He is dropping way too late. Ending up on the roof of the entertainment center. And boy, is he mad. Not great luck for group three so far. Let's see if our next competitor can turn it around. Here he comes now. It's Brookhaven Bob. He can do it. Lining up over the fountain now. The pressure's on, Bob. And he's down. Inbounds on the rim of the fountain. Go, Bob. Coming in next is Brooklyn, a fan favorite from season one of Brookhaven's Next Top Model. She seems to be headed in the right direction if she can just time her drop properly. And she did, landing just inside the fountain. Our last human dart will be Flip Baines, energetic handyman, former mayor candidate, and star of Brookhaven's Fixer Upper. He's coming in aligned with the fountain. Dropping in the point zone. Let's see just where. He's flipping, is he on the edge? No, Flip is on the water. When he's not flipping, both feet are fully on the water. Let's add up the scores for group three. With our scoring overlay, we can confirm zero points for Gordon, David, Edith, and Lenny all out of bounds. Three points for Bob on the fountain rim, four points for Flip, and four points for Brooklyn, both inside the fountain. That is a total score of 11 points for group three. All three groups have competed. Let's see who gets what medal. Gold goes to group one, Brian, Eden, Grace, Jake, John, Mark, and O1S. Silver to group two, Annabelle, Chandler, Charlie, Hoptastic, Hoptastic to Ruby and Taylor. And bronze to group three, Brooklyn, Bob, David, Edith, Flip, Gordon, and Lenny. With one more event to go, here's a look at the overall medal count. Tune in tomorrow for the final event of the 2023 Brookhaven Summer Olympic Games.